Okay, students. Good morning. <coughs> Today we will solve question from two thousand nine of solar mathematics. Today's topic is trigonometry. Let's start from question one. Question one. We are given that f plus b equal to forty five degree. F plus b equal to forty five degree. To prove, now for a to prove one minus ten a ten b equal to ten a plus ten b. We have a plus b equal to two. What we have to do? Taking tan on both sides, we get tan a plus b equal to tan forty five degree. Or the <coughs> formula of tan a plus b is tan a plus tan b all upon one minus tan a dot tan b. The value of tan forty five degree that is one. Therefore, one minus tan a dot tan b equal to tan a plus tan b. Think that for B, we have a plus B for B. We have to prove to prove cot A minus one. Times cot B minus one. This is equal to two. We have given that a plus B equal to forty-five degree. Taking cot on both sides, we get cot A plus B equal to cot forty-five degree. Or cot B cot A minus one all upon cot B plus cot A equal to one. The value of cot forty five also one. Or cot B cot A minus one equal to Or B plus or A. Third is or or B or A minus or B minus or A equals to one. Adding. One on both sides. We get cot B cot A minus cot B minus cot A plus one equal to one plus one. For the first we are cot B common. Remaining cot A minus one. For the second we are. Minus one common remaining part is cot A minus one. One plus one is equal to two. Therefore, cot A minus one over here common over here remaining part is cot B minus one is equal to two. Hence, prove. Okay, so guys, now we go to question number two. Question number two. 
So you have given that tan x plus pi equal to 23. And tan y equal to 7. You have to find the value of tan x. To find the value of tan x. Now we do that tan x plus y equal to tan x plus tan y all upon 1 minus tan x dot. Y. Or the value of 10x plus y, 23 equal to 10x plus value of 10y is 7 plus 7 all upon 1 minus 10x dot 7. Or 10x plus 7 equal to 23 times 1 minus 7 10x. Or 10x plus 7 equal to 23 minus 27 is 73 is 21 carry over to 70 is 14 plus 2 61 is 61 10x or 162 10x equal to 23 minus 7 16 or 10x equal to 16y 162. Therefore, tan x equal to 10 by 21. Now, we go to the next question. Question number 3. Question number 3. Here, cot beta equal to 2m plus 1. Cot beta equal to cot b equal to two m plus one. That is ten b equal to one upon two m plus one. Since ten and cot are reciprocal of each other, and a plus b equal to five divided by four. We have to find the value of tan x to find. The value of x. Now we know that tan a plus b equal to tan a plus tan b all upon one minus tan a dot tan b. Or tan a plus b. The value of a plus b is pi in a form. Equal to tan A plus tan B, that is 1 upon 2 plus 1, 1 upon 1 minus tan A dot 1 by 2 plus 1. Or the value of 10 pi divided by 4, that is 10.5, 1. So 1 equal to 2 plus 1. Times 10 a plus 1 whole upon 2 plus 1. This whole upon 2 plus 1 minus 10 a upon 2 plus 1. Multitude part 2 plus 1 cancel each other. Or 1 equal to 2 10 a plus 10 a. Plus one, one upon two m plus one minus ten. Or three m plus one minus ten a equal to two m ten a plus ten a plus one. This one one cancel each other. Or three m equal to we have tan a plus 2 tan a. Or this equal to 3 m equal to 2. On the right side, root tan a common. 
Even Pardes, they are plus one. Birth will be cancelled over here. Therefore, N equal to M by M plus one. This is the value of N. M by M plus one. Now, we go to the next question, question number four. For question number four, we have given that it also I equal to y3 and and beta equal to 1 by 5. <coughs> we have to prove alpha plus beta equal to pi raised to by 4. Now we know that then alpha plus beta equal to then alpha plus then beta all upon 1 minus 10 alpha dot 10 beta. This equal to 10 alpha is 2 by 3 plus 10 beta is 1 by 5. All upon 1 minus 2 by 3 times 1 by 5. This is equal to 5 by 10 plus 3 by 3. Find it by 15. 15 minus 2. That is find it by 15. That is 1. This is equal to 10. 5 divided by 4. Therefore, 5 divided by 4 equal to. Therefore, alpha plus beta equal to. And now we go to question number five. Number five, we have ten all five equal to x plus one, and ten beta equal to x minus one. To verify two times got alpha minus beta equal to x square. Now we know that ten alpha minus beta equal to ten alpha minus ten beta all upon one plus ten alpha dot ten beta <laughs> or ten alpha minus beta that is one upon cot alpha minus beta equals to ten alpha is x plus one minus ten beta is minus one one upon one plus x plus one dot x minus one or one upon cot alpha minus beta equal to x plus 1 minus x plus 1 all upon 1 plus x plus 1 x minus 1 that is x square minus 1 or 1 1 cancel over here x cancel each other 1 upon cot alpha minus beta equal to 2 upon x square therefore 2 times of cot alpha minus beta equal to x square n. Now we go to question number six. For question number six, here we have given that sine a equal to four by five. Therefore, cos a equal to square root of 1 minus sine square a equal to square root of 1 minus 4 by 5 for the square. And it becomes 3 by 5. If that the sine b equal to 2, 5 by 13, 
को cos b equal to square root of 1 minus sin square b square root of 1 minus pi by 30 by square it becomes triple y 30 so for a we have to find the value of sin a plus b sin a plus b equal to 2 sin a cos b plus cos a sin b this equal to 2 by 5 by 5 divided by 30 plus divided by 5 divided by 5 divided by 30 divided by 4 divided by 48 plus 5 divided by 15 divided by 1 65. This equal to 60 by 65. Therefore, sin a plus b equal to 63 upon 65. Again, for b, again for b, we have to find the value of a plus b. For b. Tan A equal to sin A upon cos A equal to 4 by 5 upon 3 by 5 this equal to 4 by 3 similarly tan B equal to sin B upon cos B sin B is 5 by 13 cos B is 2 by 13 this equal to 5 by 2 by Therefore, tan A plus B equal to tan A plus tan B all upon 1 minus tan A dot tan B. Tan A is 4 by 3 plus tan B is 5 by 2 all upon 1 minus 4 by 3 but 5 is 5 by 2 this is equal to 12 for the 48 plus 15 all upon 36 all upon 36 minus 20 all upon 36 36 36 cancel this is equal to 48 plus 15 that is 63 upon 36 minus 20 that is 60 63 is a 48, 63 by 48, that is 15. So 3 was 15 by 60. Therefore, 10 a plus b equal to 3 was 15 by 60. Now, we go to the next question. Question number 7. Question number seven. We have sine alpha equal to three by four. Ten. Ten alpha equal to three by four. Equal to two. Three by b. Let b equal to three x. Let b equal to four x. Therefore, x equal to square root of b square plus b square from Pythagoras theorem. The square root of 3x for the square plus 4x for the square. This equal to 5x. And then beta. Then beta equal to i by table equal to b by b from this therefore sin alpha equal to 3 by x 3x upon 5x equal to 3 by 5 therefore cos alpha equal to b by x 4x upon 5x equal to 4 by 5 then b equal to 5x 
right b equals to triple z therefore yes we got a square root of b square plus b square equal to square root of 5 by square plus triple x or e square it becomes 30 x therefore sin beta equal to p by x equal to 5 x upon 2 30 x equal to 5 by 30 similarly therefore cos beta equal to b by x equal to triple x upon 30 x equal to triple by 30 if you find this you can calculate L of sine alpha minus beta. Then sine alpha minus beta for a sine alpha minus beta equal to sine alpha dot cos beta minus cos alpha dot sine beta. Sine alpha is by 5 multiply cos beta is divided by 30 minus cos alpha is 4 by 5 sin beta is 5 by 30 divided by 36 minus 4 5 by 20 all upon 5 30 by 65 equal to 16 by 65 this is the value of sine alpha minus beta. Therefore, sine alpha minus beta equal to 16 by 65. Similarly, we have to find the value of cot alpha minus beta. Again, or B we know that there's alpha minus beta we call it to one minus in alpha minus Ten beta all upon one plus ten alpha ten beta or one upon cot alpha minus beta equal to ten alpha is three by four ten beta is five by two all upon one plus three by four times five by two or 1 upon cot alpha minus beta equal to triple beta 36 minus 20 all upon 48 multiply with 48 upon 48 plus 50 48 put it cancelled or 1 upon cot alpha minus beta equal to 36 minus 20 that is 16 upon 48 plus 15 that is 16 15 or cot alpha minus beta equal to 63 by 15 therefore cot alpha minus beta equal to 16 3 is a 48 yeah, 48 3 whole 15 by 16 this is the value of cot alpha minus beta now question number 8 now question number 8 we have given that the of sine alpha is 1 upon root 10. Therefore, 
also if I got the square root of one minus sine square of bar the square root of one minus one by root eight one by it becomes three by root eight. Since that equals beta equals to two, two upon the square root of pi, therefore sine beta equal to square root of one minus cos square beta equal to square root of one minus two by root pi by square. It becomes one upon root pi. Now for a we need to find value of cos alpha plus beta. Cos alpha plus beta equal to cos alpha dot cos beta minus sine alpha dot sine beta is equal to cos alpha its value is 3 by root 10 cos beta 2 by root 5 minus sine alpha is 1 by root 10 sine beta is 1 by root 5 equal to 6 minus 1 all upon root 15 5 upon 5 root 2 equal to 1 upon 1 root 2 therefore cos alpha plus beta equal to 1 by 1 root 2 then for B again for B cot alpha equal to cos alpha upon sin alpha is equal to 3 by root 10 upon 1 by root 10 equal to 3 similarly cot beta equal to cos beta upon sin beta is equal to 2 upon root 5 upon 1 upon root 5 is equal to therefore cot alpha minus beta equal to cot beta dot cot alpha plus 1 whole upon cot beta minus cot alpha cot beta is 2 but by cot alpha is 3 minus 1 all over cot beta is 2 cot alpha is minus 3 so this is equal to 6 minus 1 5 upon minus 1 equal to minus Plus one. This is a six plus one seven. Seven by minus one that is minus seven. Therefore, cot alpha minus beta equal to minus seven, which is the answer. Okay, students. This was for today. Have a nice time. See you soon.